Hello, fifth graders. So yesterday, you guys uh, completed a vocabulary assignment where you were introduced to something called order of operations. And basically what order of operations is, is the way that you solve an expression. There's a specific way and you have to follow a certain um, order when you are solving expressions. So let's look at this example right here. It says two students evaluated the expression to the left and got two different answers. Neither student made a mistake in their calculations. So how did they get different results? Okay, so Rebecca solved this problem one way and Juan solved this problem a different way. Okay, so let's just review the order of operations that you guys talked about a little bit yesterday. The first thing to do is to do parentheses. Okay, so that's where that P comes in for parentheses. And then yesterday in the video, we talked about the E, which stands for exponents. So you do the exponents next. Then this big step, you multiply and divide left to right. And finally, this last step, you add and subtract left to right. So it forms this word PEMDAS, and that's what that video was about yesterday. So let's look at Rebecca's way. She had this original expression, and then she did this division and got three. So let's erase this real quick. Nine divided by three, and she got three. And then she did, I can see, five times three and got 15, and then added 36 and got 51. Juan, what he did... I could see that he added 36 and 9 first to get 45, and then he divided 45 by 3 to get 15, and then multiplied by 5 to get 75. Who followed the correct order of operations? So what Juan did, he added first. Are we supposed to add first when we follow the order of operations? No, we have to follow these. So if we're looking at Rebecca's way, okay, there's no parentheses, so we don't do the P. There's no exponents, so we go to multiplication and division. And I see division here, and then I see multiplication here. And if we have division and multiplication as the highest form of the operation, we go left to right. So that's why Rebecca did 9 divided by 3 first, and then multiply by 5. So Rebecca's way is correct, and Juan's way, Ray, is incorrect because he added first. All right, so let's look. Here again, we have a little order of operations, PEMDAS. We have the parentheses, we have exponents, and then in the same step, we either multiply or divide. If multiplication and division are the highest form of PEMDAS, like if, let's say if we don't have parentheses or exponents, you go left to right. And same thing with addition and subtraction. If that's the only thing that's left in your problem, you also go left to right. So in these following examples, it says name the operation you should do first. So in this first problem, what should you do first? So you are going to solve the parentheses first. Okay, so you could do 4 minus 7 and 3 plus 5 first, and then you would add them at the end. What would you do in this first? Okay, you would do the parentheses again, so you would do 4 and 5 tenths plus 3 and 75 hundredths first. And then whatever you get for that, you would subtract it from 17 and 25 hundredths. What about this next one? What would you do first? So I see multiplication, addition, and division, okay? So multiplication and division are the highest pair, and we do those left to right. So first, you would do 5 times 2. So that's what you would do the first thing. And then the last one, 6 plus 27 divided by 3. What would you do first? Well, division comes before addition, so we would divide first. So we would do 27 divided by 3 first, all right? So now this next part, what you guys are going to do is you are going to solve these problems, okay? Now, you can't really um, do this in your notes, 
So what I want you to do is to complete this on a scrap piece of paper. All right. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to write down this expression. All right. And what is the first thing you are going to do with this expression? Well, I see multiplication and subtraction. So multiplication comes first. So I like to use these little carrots. So we're going to solve eight times three. And what I always say every year to my fifth graders is that by the time you get your answer for your um, order of operations, it should look like a pizza slice. Okay, so it should go from big to small all the way at the bottom where you finally get your answer. So let's look at this problem. Okay, we're first going to do eight times six, okay? And that gives us 48. And then what we need to do is we need to rewrite everything that we haven't used yet. So we bring down the minus four and we bring down the times three. And now we're gonna start over again. You can already see going from this step to this step that our expression is getting tinier, okay? So we have subtraction and we have multiplication. What should we do next? We should do the multiplication. Okay, so four times three is 12, and then rewrite everything that you have not used yet. Okay, and now the last step is just to subtract 48 minus 12. Okay, so that would be 48 minus 10 is 38, minus two more would be 36. Your final answer is 36. Okay, so there's going to be a little text box here. What you can do is you can write down your answer of 36 for that problem. But make sure that you're writing this on a scrap piece of paper. All right, let's look at this next one. 19 minus 5 in parentheses times 3 plus 4. What should we do first? We should solve the parentheses. So we do 19 minus 5, and that gives us 14. And then what we need to do is rewrite everything else that we have not touched yet. So bring it all down, the times three and the plus four. Now what should we do? Now we're going to do the multiplication. So we multiply 14 times three. You can do that on the side if you need. Four times three is 12. Three times one is three plus one is four. So we get 42. And then bring down everything else that you haven't used yet. And then the very last step, the only other thing to do is to add. So 42 plus 4 is 46, and that is our final answer. All right, and then the next problem. All right, what are we going to do first for this problem? Remember, PEMDAS. So these two go together, and then these two go together. We're going to do the parentheses first. That comes first, okay? So 3 minus 2 is 1. And then everything else, we just rewrite our whole entire problem. So we have the four times and then the plus 18. What do we do next? We multiply. So we have four times one is four and then the plus 18 again. And then all we have to do is one step addition. So we have 18 plus four, which would be 22. And that's our final answer. All right. Now let's look at this very last one. We have two times nine plus two times 14 in parentheses. What do we do first? We solve the parentheses first. So 14 times 2, which is 28. Okay, and then we bring down everything else that we haven't touched yet. So the plus 9 times 2. What do we do next? We do 9 times 2, which is 18. And then we have the plus 28. We just bring that down. And lastly, we just add 18 plus 28. There's only one other step. So we have 16, 2, 3, 4. So our final answer is 46. All right. So what you guys are going to do is there is going to, there's going to be a Google form in your classroom. And it's going to be a couple of these order of operation problems. And you're going to solve these problems and tell me what you get as your final answer. Now, when you're solving these problems, what I'm going to say is to complete these problems on a scrap piece of paper and complete it just like we did here. You can see that all of these problems if you were to trace an upside down triangle, they look like a little pizza slice because we start out big and every time we rewrite the problem again. So it's nice, neat, and organized. That just helps us so that we don't make any mistakes and we um, are able to keep everything organized and um, free of errors. 
All right, and then at the very end of the Google form, it's going to tell you to submit a picture of your work. So just make sure at the very end of that on a scrap piece of paper, once you do all your work, submit a picture of that work on that Google form. All right, if you have any questions, boys and girls, please email me and have a wonderful day. Bye.